What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Today is a running vid, so hopefully everyone can come runners on this channel. Please subscribe with post notifications on and follow all my social media links. They'll be down in the description so you guys don't miss out on any content that I'm putting out. I bought some running shoes again. I spent $200 at Runner's Route in Aiea in Hawaii and I've been wanting these running shoes for a while. Every time on the... How do you say? So it's ho Hoka? <laughs> these are like running shoes that everyone use they usually run from like 100 to like 200 dollars and it just depends on your comfortability and i also got them for work too but these are pretty sick i wanted the all white one it's got like the black and white one once you read the name out the box this is time to fly i just get it it's right here guys i'm it's hokas Hokas? Hoka Hoka one one. Hoka one one. But it's a Hoka one one, but it's pronounced one one. See an Oreo. Dude, I want these. Like, mm, 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 oh, you mm. want to see mine? Yes. Yeah. These babies, they look so nice, honestly. They look like grandma shoes to you guys, but they're honestly so comfortable Sketchers and so cute. Replicas. Yeah, Skechers was not the one. They had my size, so we couldn't resist. There's a lot of shoes that we have seen, actually. <laughs> but this was one on the list to get for... To start the running yeah. shoe collection. And yeah, the cushion, the grip. The the grip was more important. Yeah, and how we're lightweight it is. And I'm, we, Dude, I can like there's like a foot. And then when, like, when we start traveling, we're going to start running That's outdoors. Like so like I can take it with me running. Um, Maybe the next Hoka shoes, we, there's a carbon pleated one. We'll use that, but yeah, we'll get used to using your, these ones yeah, first. Yeah. I, I need <laughs> yeah, it. Time to fly away from these haters. Mm -hmm. We have here a quarter of Dull Whip. This one's an Indica hybrid. They had a little sale going on on their eights at here. I mean, not eights, quarters, <laughs> which honestly, they, they, they actually got me fucked up because their eights actually run for the price of how much I got this for $55. So that's where I'm getting mixed up. So I can't believe I got a quarter for $55 at here. Usually that shit's like $100. So I'm a little excited about that. We have here a White Widow Excelliger. This one's my second favorite, honestly. This is my second time grabbing it. And the glue too. So these are my top three. Mimosa is my first one, White Widow and the glue because these ones are more sativa lenient. And if you like sativa, I suggest check out here. That's so cool. So my total would have been 260 at the dispo, but then it came out to 178. And the system went down again when I went in there. I was like, it's damn, a curse. it's a curse for me to go there. Nick Bayer always has these and a lot of He's other runners out there. <laughs> this is a salted caramel energy gel and it's going to taste like you actually ate something or drank something sweet. So when you're running outside or running on a treadmill, trying to beat your mile PRs, uh, these will be, yeah, these too. will be helpful for you. And I'm excited to try it. I'll get my face reaction because I don't mean, know how it's going to taste. drink it or eat it, whatever? I think on our mile marker three, because we're going to be running six miles today to test out those shoes and to break it in, break it in and get those splinters. It breaks up, break our ankles. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be drinking some bay, our little pre-workout. I forgot our oxy shred.
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You too. Bye.